Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another video on ForgottenWeapons.com. I'm Ian McCollum, and I would like to introduce today's co-host, the MGM Spinner. I hate this spinner. I really dislike it. Uh, I dislike it in part because it is an extremely difficult target. It is, in fact, a fantastic practice target. I don't like it showing up in matches, but it's absolutely a magnificent target for practice because it requires accuracy, timing, and consistency, and visual acuity. You have to be able to tell if that thing's coming towards you or away from you. So the purpose of this target is to hit it enough that the entire, the, the two popsicle stick thing does a full 360 degree rotation. So actually you just need it to do 181 degrees and then it will fall the rest of the way on its own. But the bottom target is slightly heavier than the top target, which uh, gives it a counterbalance. And if you, the thing is, when you hit it, it'll start to spin. And the more you hit it, the more it'll spin. But if you miss, there's a lot of friction in that thing. And it will, in a distressingly, depressingly rapid, uh, it, it slows down real fast. So I have gone ahead, thanks to Patreon and, Patreon, and bought an MGM spinner myself. They're also kind of painfully expensive because I want to be able to get really good at that stupid spinner because no one's going to believe me that I think it's a bad match target until I can actually routinely clear it myself. My other trick is I now have a Laugo Alien. Uh, this is hot off both the mud and dust tests. And so for those of you who uh, saw those videos and thought, oh my God, he just ruined a $5,000 pistol. Well, let's see if it still actually shoots. 15 yards, by the way, which is the minimum recommended distance to avoid spalling and splatter and having the spinner shoot back. And I forgot about it again. I need to put some grip tape on this, so I stopped putting my thumbs in a position where I am going to... So that's how fast that <clears throat> thing will stop spinning. It's already completely done. I was really close. So with the Laugo, I've never been able to actually double tap the bottom plate before. That was new to me. Now, had I been able to actually make my single hits on the top, as well as double tapping the bottom, I could have gotten that over without too much trouble. So I'm gonna reload some magazines and let's give that another try camera guy just had a run at the spinner and now he's all pissed off at it too. <laughs> oh, these targets, this target, this specific target can be downright infuriating. But I was able to, I, I was able to get double hits on the bottom, which means I should be able to spin this. All I have to do is make doubles on the bottom and singles on the top and we should be good. Now, this is already better than I've basically ever done uh, with like this this MGM spinner this is the exact same model we had at Desert Brutality it is high friction if you don't do a fast reload that thing is almost at a standstill by the time you've reloaded your pistol which is nuts um, again like I said at the beginning this is a magnificent practice target as long as it doesn't infuriate you <laughs> to the point that that you lose all will to actually improve so let's Let's try this again. We're going to start with the top, single hit on top, and then double on the bottom.
Yes. God, I mouthed it. And now it's basically back to us. Not yet. And I'll say 50 rounds dumped through this pistol does get it hot because that's, I'm, there's 17 round mags. I'm loading them to 16 just to save on my thumbs a little bit. So that's uh, what, 48 rounds per engagement here. So it's now completely at a standstill. <sighs> I'm gonna give this one more try. I also of course have to remember my thumb position. The Laugo, the Laugo is such a good shooting pistol that I'm willing to develop a specific grip for this that is different than all my other pistols because it is the only pistol I've ever been able to even come close to reliably double tapping a spinner with. So. Here we go. Came close again. <laughs> Not so tough without any legs, are you? We'll be back. I'm gonna be able to shoot that. We'll get it.